Okay, very exciting. It's around about. It's after seven, it's got dark, and it's too late to do anything about it, unfortunately. But my starter arrived today. I'm going to do an unboxing. Okay. Put it out a little bit. Start with the front. I really hope it's not that one, because that'll be it. Uh, you never do know, do you? Right, how do you open this thing? It's nice this thing is a straightforward box these days. So, oh, no, got it. Okay, right. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. The box has collapsed as far as it has opened as far as it can open. Okay. within a box. Ooh. There's more packaging. It's in bubble wrap and there's also a sort of view of card around it. Okay, so it looks like it could be looks like it could have ordered the right one. Ooh, look at that. Right, okay. Five seven eight OBN. Oh golly, I've got new screws and everything. Okay, right, this is the gear. We'll get the other one to comparison, just make sure it's the right one. Ah. Yes, the gloves. Don't attempt anything without the gloves. We're about to pick up parts of bin on a Harley Davidson. Pretty oily. So they're both six inch long. This is, oh god, it's the Prestolite starter as used on XLH1000s, Ironhead Sportsters, and also on shovel heads, I think, as well. So that will start a shovel. It'll start at 1340. Ooh. Um, so, you know, it'll, it'll turn over an Austin Allegro, that thing. Now, I'm almost certain this is the right one. I mean, that looks identical to me. This is fantastic. As you can see, hopefully, the um, gear on the end of that is completely mashed on this old one. Right, so that new one's going to go on... <sighs> Depends on the weather. I haven't got a shed or a garage, so... Definitely by, the, by Sunday that'll go on. This old one, though, what to do? Well, it's still an electric motor. The only thing that's wrong with it is this gear here. Uh, this is part of a thing through the middle of it, a rotating thing through the middle of it. Um, so basically I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to see if I can pick up one of those cheap. I saw one for about 50 quid. Um, for comparison, this entire thing cost 85, 86 quid. Um, although vastly more expensive ones are available. Um, this is an unknown quantity. I'm going to take, take my chances with this one. But the idea is to refurbish this one so it needs a new Thing that goes through the middle and starts with an A, you can't remember. It's got copper on it because of that. And also it'll need new brushes and new bearings. I'm assuming there's bearings in there. I know there's brushes because these things are horrible. I had this part part about six about six months ago, which is why I bought an entire new one. Because I knew this was on its last legs. 
and uh, when you sort of open it, it's like, you know the uh, the peanut butter jars, and you open it and the snake pops out. <laughs> it's exactly what happens. <laughs> and there, there's like springs everywhere, and you've no idea how many of them they're supposed to be, or what, what, how they're supposed to go around, or anything, so that was awful. But I did get it back together. Right, so the plan is to hold on to that, because if nothing else, I think if I attach a water wheel to this, um, I'll be able to generate electricity, which, uh, given the way this country is going on, we'll all be doing that next year. So, so in the next video will be me putting this on and, uh, well, seeing if it responds to, uh, seeing if it responds to treatment.